I was actually begged by a Romanian friend of mine not to make this video because he doesn't want his town overrun with tourists. And I was like, no, I will make the video. But what I did find interesting, because in my brain it snapped, I noticed that saying that you don't want tourists in your town. It's perfectly fine. There's a lot of liberal people that say it. A lot of progressive people that vote Democrats are saying that. But if you say, I don't want immigrants in your town, in some countries that can get you arrested because you have become a harm to society. You are a dangerous individual that needs to be locked up. And, you know, I, I'm trying to figure out why that is. Like, what is the difference between a tourist and an immigrant? And, and why is it that in some places the authorities, the politicians feel the need to differentiate and, and one is filled oozing with racismus? And another one is just like a normal talking point. Uh, anyway, this American has decided to visit Romania. And he has been astonished by what he found in my city. So let's look at it. As people don't come to this country and I don't understand why. I'm standing in the middle of a city center with nobody else. Look at this place. It's completely empty. So I, I don't know how they do it in America, but here in Romania, in order to put food on your table, you have to go to work. So if you're working and you're at the workplace, then you cannot be in the city plaza at the same time. We, we do not have the Naruto Klono Jutsu. And yes, the men and the women have to work because we're not as rich as the United States of America, and here two incomes are usually required in order for a family not to struggle financially. Uh, and there is also something um, very damaging here. You know, we have the patriarchy. The patriarchy is very strong. Uh, usually if a woman wants to be a journalist or she wants to be a gender studies expert to, to get a PhD into the noble profession of uh, lesbian dance mastery, the patriarchy steps in, a.k.a. her father. And her father goes like, no, you're going to become a doctor, you're going to become an engineer, you're going to become something that earns you a living so you can get out of my household when you're an adult. I, I, I cannot feed you for the rest of your life. You need to feed yourself and your family. And in order for that to happen, you need to get into a profession that the economy actually employs. After you do that, that's on you. You, you want to be a gender study master after you, you got your profession, good on you. But you do that on your own cash, on your own dime, under your own roof. And with this very patriarchal, toxic mindset, Romania has actually one of the lowest gender pay gaps in the European Union. We, we do not have like a lot of activists. We, we do not have the same level of feminism like they have in Britain and in Spain. But for some reason, we just managed to lower that gender pay gap. I'm in a random town in Romania. And look at this. Overnight, the businesses, they leave their tables and chairs outside. And... Nobody steals them. If well, have we discussed this previously? Here in Romania, people have found the infinite body glitch. And it works a little bit better than those TikTokers that found the chase band glitch. See, the infinite body glitch is when you go to work, you make money and it glitches the system because every month you keep making money. And with that money, you can afford to buy those tables and chairs so that you don't need to take the ones that are from outside. And, and when you buy your own tables and chairs, you can even like customize them and choose them. And uh, yeah, this is why people do not feel the need to, to take the stuff from the street because they can just buy their own using the infinite body glitch. If you were in the US and you left your tables, and look, every business does it. If you left your tables and chairs outside without a massive chain on them, they would be stolen and then scrapped. and you. If he actually travels a little bit lower, there's another store which has a plasma TV outside. Can you believe that? No, no, seriously, there's a plasma TV outside. No one feels the need to break it. No one feels the need to steal it. It's just there. Like when they close the store, they leave the plasma TV outside. 
you would never see it again. There is no way this is a real thing. They have a McDonald's drive through but for your feet. You yeah, fun fact though, um, you can actually go to a drive through without a car in Romania. You just position yourself behind the car. So, so even if you have no car, like, like let's say the actual restaurant is closed because it's not a 24-7, but usually what they do is they, they hold the drive through open. Um, but let's assume you just live in the area and you want to order out and you have no vehicle. You can actually position yourself behind the car and the other drivers understand what you're doing. They're not upset. And when it's your turn, you just order as if you were from a car. But we also have like these things where, yeah, you can just knock at the window. They open and they give you food. I don't know why they're not doing it in America. It's called fast food, right? Like this is the purpose. It's for the people that do not want to sit inside the restaurant. But the people that want to just take the food into a package and eat it at home. Uh, also notice how all the stores, they have the stuff in. Like you can still see the uh, equipment and the merchandise inside the store. And no one wants to break into the store, even though it's glass. Like this is how you know it's a safe country. When you see stuff like this. Um, it wasn't always this way. Like, this is what I want to mention. It wasn't always this way. You used to have bars at every single window. Like, there would be some metal shutters back in the day that you would pull them over the window, but it's an eyesore, it doesn't look good. Um, but, you know, I, I'm looking at Scat Francisco, and I understand that a lot of Romanians, uh, they want a country like outside. And when you look how it's outside, uh, all of the products at a supermarket, at a convenience store, are under lock and key. And I realize that we, we still have more to go. We, we still need to pressure our politicians to get our nation to that level so that we can have a country like outside. Because we're just not there yet. You don't even need a car for that. And you won't believe this. Not only do they leave their tables and chairs out, they leave a piano outside. Look, this is- What? What, what are you going to put it inside? It's a piano, it's massive. Can you imagine if they had to like move it inside, outside every single day? That would be bad for the employee, Jesus. We don't, we don't pay them as much as in America. In America, they get minimum wage. We have minimum wage here in Romania, but it's, it's not at the American level. We're not as wealthy. It's a whole piano. There's no chains or nothing. But chains are expensive, man. That's worth like thousands of Romanian money. Probably worth thousands of American money as well. It's a piano. Why is no one taking that? Why would they take it? They have the infinite body glitch. All jokes aside, though, um, I do think that welfare may play a big part in all of this, right? Uh, and what I mean by it, like, Romania has a welfare system, and I'm really pissed off that a lot of Romanians are complaining about it, because when you actually look at the welfare system, it's barely enough to make a living. In fact, I, I don't even know if someone could live on the Romanian welfare system unless they are doing something else, unless they're, like, also raising animal husbandry or, or having a farm or something, right? Because the, the welfare in Romania is very, very low. So it incentivizes people to move their ass and find a job, uh, which is something that I noticed in other places doesn't exist because, again, this gentleman was shocked at the fact that this is empty, right? Now, if you were to have, like, people that were getting money from the government to live uh, and not have to work, then this place may be full. Because a lot of people uh, who are getting welfare, they're like, well, still, I don't want to be reliant on the government. I still need to work. So they will find a job. But you, are, you have other individuals that are complacent, that want the path of least resistance. And they're like, okay, well, if I have money from the government, why should I get a job? I can just, you know, uh, be like the Star Trek citizen, pursue my hobbies, fulfill my dreams. Uh, so there are those individuals as well. Uh, but all in all, uh, I, I do think the European Union also helped because when I grew up, none of this was possible. Like, it, it was true. Like, a lot, a lot of these pl things would have been stolen. Uh, if not stolen, they would have been damaged. Uh, and, and this probably still happens in some major cities. But when the European opened its borders for us, uh, a lot of the individuals that would have damaged, would have stolen, they realized, well... It's not as profitable in Romania. I mean, you take the table, who's going to buy it? They don't have a lot of cash. But in Germany, ah, in the United Kingdom, in other places, Spain, Italy. 
So uh, the the criminal element decided to go abroad to greener pastures. Uh, so yeah, the country is a lot more safe. Plus, we're also tough on crime. I noticed this as well. Like uh, you, you see a, a picture o- on Twitter with a person that's trying to rob a Uber driver. And then as they're trying to get away from the cops, they jump over a bridge, they fall, and they break their legs. And you go to the comment section, and the comment section is like, oh my goodness, oh, that poor criminal, oh, like, look, look what happened. Why, why is no one trying to help him? Why is that, right? So that is the, the progressive mentality from a country like outside. In Romania, everyone would laugh and would be like, well, that's karma. That, you know, like, it, it's good. It's good. Why, why did he have to do it? Why did he have to put himself in a position where he is robbing the Uber driver and then has to get away from the cops. What is wrong with that person? His parents have to blame. His parents completely failed that individual. His parents need to be held socially responsible as if you were posting racismus on Twitter. This is the mindset of a more conservative country, a more a country that's uh, not oozing with the same level of morality that we see in the United Kingdom, in the United States. So this is why I'm saying we, we have a long way to go uh, until we have a country like outside, but hopefully one day we will manage, you know, because uh, progress is important. We can't, we can't just uh, remain stagnant. So let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.